Hello everybody and welcome back with Cook the PJ. We're here in the kitchen and we're gonna be making something delicioso today. I have got something for you. We are making fresh pasta from scratch, not from the bag. No, no, no. We're gonna be making a sauce from scratch, mostly scratch. And of course, we're gonna be making a nice, thick focaccia bread like a mama used to make. So you might be wondering, well, PJ, have you ever made pasta before from scratch? Yes. I've made pasta once before, only once. And it was a disaster. When I was in year seven, we had food tech and we were told we were gonna be making pasta. I was like, oh, okay. I don't know how to make pasta. So I told my mom, I said, mom, we're gonna be making pasta tomorrow in school. We spent all night making pasta from scratch. She taught me how to do the flour and the eggs and mix it all together. And you cut it up into pieces and you make your boy so, you can imagine my surprise when I go into school the next day and everybody else has bags of pasta and I'm sitting there with all my fresh ingredients and the teacher's like, no, what? We're just teaching you how to boil pasta. It was a disaster and I've never tried again since. The day of redemption is here. I'm gonna make some pasta. It's gonna be delicious. <laughs> and I get a yes chef in the chat. You're not leaving until this dish is made, okay? Capiche? Yes chef. Yes P Jeff. P. Jeff, I've got a bit of a secret ingredient up my sleeve. No, I don't have tomatoes up my sleeve. That would be unhygienic. What I have, we got a one of these. We've got a KitchenAid to aid me through my pasta making quest. Did you do any prep? Of course not. Do I look like a prepper to you? Crock it up at all times. Being a chef is 90% fashion, 10% cooking. And also welcome Fuji to the party. Hello Fuji. I have had the foresight this time to print my recipes. Did you read them? Of course I didn't read them. You don't need to pre-read a recipe. It's the whole point of a recipe. You have it and then it's like, Go. I think we need to begin with the focaccia. It's only five steps. How hard can five steps be? Prep 25 minutes, cook 20 minutes. Sounds like a challenge. Tip the flour into a large mixing bowl. How much flour? 500 G's? Hell yeah, I only deal in G's. How's this for a bowl? Huh? Cheeky little set of scales. Vcam is uh, significantly uglier. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys, I got it. I got it on my sleeve. A chef like me is not afraid of a, a bit of spilt flour. Huh? Huh? That, that, that. Okay. Four nine nine. Hold. Five hundred. Oh. Can you see that that says five hundred? Oh, I, wait. Sorry, I put my finger on the scales. Now, now it says five hundred one. I like my yeast fast, and I like it now. Tablespoon. <laughs> Teaspoon. <laughs> For later. For later. I hardly know her. <laughs> Fine sea salt. I guess I'm gonna have to find it. I guess I'm gonna have to find find in my secret compartment. Oh, oh. Fine, I see you so. Teaspoons, not tablespoons. Oh my god. And then the yeast goes on the other side of the bowl. Yeast arm. What instrument should I mix this with? And don't say ukulele. Uh, when I say instrument, you know what I mean. Okay, how much is seven grams? Oh, I spoke. <laughs> uh, that's what the scales are for, PJ. <laughs> Grandma! Is the whole packet seven grams? What the heck? Where's the whisk? Which one of you has the whisk? I'm not kidding, guys. I'm not kidding around. I found it. <laughs> this initial separation prevents the salt from killing the yeast. Killing the yeast? Oh my God, well, I don't want that to happen. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Why you go bad now? I've always been bad. Was that the door? Somebody's at my door. I, who's at, oh, for fuck, I should get the door. Oh my God, okay. No. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Sorry about that, everybody. Somebody was at the door, I had to get the door. Oh, I just realized I answered the door in my tot. Oh my God. So I answered the door looking like this. So two tablespoons of oil. I keep having to recheck the rules in case of the, re <laughs> the recipe, sorry. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna get a glass of water. Lukewarm, mate, lukewarm. Focaccia around and find out. I like that. Here we go. Into the well. Let's mix until we have a sticky dough. Is it sticky dough? I'm not convinced it's sticky dough. This is difficult when you only have two hands, you know, as opposed to all those people who have three. You know what? F the measurements. You know how my granddad cooks? My granddad doesn't use measurements. Not at all convinced by this. It looks like marshmallow fluff. Believe this or not, I'm not a baker. Don't add anything yet. Oh, it's too late for that. You're put too close. Who knew the secret was to use both hands? Need for 10 minutes. I need a miracle. Let's get sticky with Mickey. We've got hands, we might as well use them. It's like a glob. Now we're in kneading territory. Do this for 10 minutes. Oh, 10 minutes. Yeah, I'll do this for a Hollywood 10 minutes, which is where you do it for two minutes and then you just put it on loop for the video. And leave to proof for an hour. We'll do a Hollywood hour. <laughs> this is why sh bakers are so muscly. How are we doing? We're doing great. Oh. And Fuji's here, the whole gang is here. My little assistant. Sophie, can you please roll up the sleeves? Yeah, you're nah, the sleeve. sleeves are fine, the sleeves are fine. No, no, no. no, no. No, 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 I will roll the sleeves up when I want to roll the sleeves up. Do you ever knead with your elbows? I don't think you do, but what? I've seen people like, now this is a very delicate operation because the proving basket oh, is directly no, behind the camera. We're gonna go on a little ride, okay? Everybody hold on. Oh, 
again. Ooh. So this is the IKEA proving bowl. It just says prove it. Oh, Fuji's on the bin. What are you doing on the bin? An hour. Please oil the bowl. The instructions say put in a clean bowl. Look, it's ridged. I'm not gonna oil it. Did you read the recipe comments? I barely read the recipe. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a bit of oil on the roll. Just a little bit like that. Do not put oil in the basket. Chat has been telling me for the past five minutes to put oil in the basket. What are you- Oil, PJ, oil in the basket. Now that he's done it, now let's tell him not to do that. I'm not opening this for another hour, okay? I'm gonna put this in a warm location. It's time to start the fresh pasta dough. 400 grams coming up. A mole would be very happy to live in that. So you guys need to appreciate what you've got in life. Four eggs, whoa. Don't look in my bin. I'm not too sure that's gonna- oh. One, two, three, please. It's gonna tip. Shit, it's tipped. It's what's happened. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? We have to go. We have to go. Get back in there. The moles are trying to escape. I did what the recipe said. I've got eggs escaping. Eggs, are they escaping? <laughs> what the fuck is supposed to be going on here? I've never done this before. I'm just gonna just keep going. Where are you up to? The first step. <laughs> This is the first thing it tells you to do. It's left me for dead. I think the recipe's wrong. Alternatively, put the flour in a food processor. What do you mean alternative? I could have used that. I'm getting flashbacks to being in year seven food tech again. I should have just used a bag of dry pasta. Review before you do? I'll review you if you're not careful. I don't want to knead this, do I? Oh wait, form a ball and knead for eight minutes. Oh, I do need to knead it. F do we have a problem? Lag, we're lagging. Oh, oh no, I've just, oh, what am I doing? I'm streaming off the Wi-Fi. Hello, I'm back. It's supposed to be smooth. Okay. Keep kneading. Oh, keep kneading, all right. Is this pizza dough? Read the stream title. Excellent. You're aiming for elastic and smooth. Can we eat it now? Does this look ready to eat? Would you eat this? This is like the kneading montage. You supposed to punch it? Get his ass. That's probably the least badass thing you could say in a fight. Your ass belongs to me now. <laughs> Buff chef on. <laughs> Okay, we need an airtight container. Luckily, I have one right here. Would you say this is airtight? What's gonna get in there? Ghosts? Oh no, there's a ghost in my pasta dough. <laughs> the plop was satisfying. <laughs> okay. You guys ever played Overcooked? Oh, I've got my sleeve is all covered in egg. Who would have saw that coming? Let me do a bit of cleaning. Now it's my turn. Could a focaccia work in this? The world's first circular focaccia. It's gonna have to do. People will be asking me, PJ, what kind of guy are you? Are? The circular focaccia kind of guy. We're gonna start working on the pasta sauce, I think. Oh, Jesus Christ, nearly fell in. Now the recipe calls for one clove of garlic, but I'm doing two. You can't stop me. I'm hearing you, and where's the Italian? Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need me to sound like this? Is that what you were expecting? We come in many different shapes and sizes. This just happens to be my shape and size. I'm actually <laughs> the tallest man in Italy. Comedy comes first, uh, accuracy comes second. God, how do you crush a garlic clove? Like crush its spirits? You are pathetic. You will amount to nothing in your life. Nobody likes you. Side of a knife. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crush it up. Reese's Buffs. Reese's Buffs. Originally, I was thinking, oh, should I just like get some tomatoes and chop them? And I was like, I've learned from the error of my ways when I bought an entire pumpkin and it took forever. It has the Italian flag on it, so you know it's legit. I recently chopped my thumb and it was the worst thing in the world, man. We're going to need to do another one of these maneuvers. So if you guys just hold. Oh my God. I've rescued the sugar. It's been 50 minutes. Has it doubled in size? It's enlarged for sure. And it's not stuck, guys. So far, so good. That's not for catcha. Well, obviously not yet. I'll babysit. Thank you, if you could. I've never used this before. We're gonna try using this KitchenAid attachment to make the pasta. <laughs> What's the difference between damp and wet? Oh, yar! You guys know pirates? Check dough. All right, I'll check my dough real quick. Hang on a minute. Just checking my bank account there. One million dollars. Oh, you mean the dough in the fridge? <laughs> the, you mean this dough? Has anything happened? I'm not a scientist of pasta. The camera's being a little bit naughty. So I've got a, a wedge of uh, dough. It looks like a wedge of cheese. Take a bite. <laughs> the holy triangle. It's like Zelda. I got the Triforce of pasta. Three, two, one. Fuck it. Oh, sh oh, oh. It's a giant piece of pasta. Fold and feed through again. Repeat the process four or five times. Okay. Oh my God, it's like shredding. You know when you're shredding documents? The FBI will never know. Use a ruler. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to use a ruler. In my restaurant, this is how we're going to bring the pasta out. Pasta on an arm. And you just have to eat it off my arm. Finished pasta sheets can go here. It's clean, don't worry. 
Your baby has been successfully delivered. It's a dough. You're looking for farfalla? I think as a kid, I couldn't say that word. I think I used to say fafolina, <laughs> which I think in Italian might be something else. I'll let you guys Google search that. Did somebody order the arm pasta. Okay, here we go. Good luck to us. Oh. oh. It's like hair. Did you know sleeves can get caught in the KitchenAid? It's a good thing that I'm very responsible and that's not gonna happen. Is the water boiling? Uh, let me check. No, it's not boiling just yet. It's working. Oh. It smells like pasta. <laughs> she has risen. Excited to see PJ flip his shit at more proving. What do you mean? More proving? Cover with a tea towel to prove for 35 to 45. Manager. Cooking is a joke. You spend five hours cooking a loaf of bread and you devour it in three minutes. Oil in a shallow tin. How much? Who knows? We're going off the grid, guys. We're improvising. No! Oh my god! Why is it after every time I do anything, someone's like, no! PJ, you're breathing wrong! If you breathe too strong, the dough will deflate! I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that? You're supposed to walk backwards in the kitchen! Yeah, sorry, that's the way to do it, isn't it? Sorry, yeah. Never walk forwards in the kitchen! And then stretch, like, what do you mean stretch? What do you mean? What do you mean? What does it mean? Like this? No, PJ, you're breathing on it! It's my first focaccia. Hey guys, uh, focaccia, I, um... <laughs> uh, I, I is focaccia your favorite bread? No, not really. So we can get back to pasta making because we have not finished pasta making. Are you not entertained? Uno. Due. With me, guys, with me. Tre. Sette, otto, nove, dieci. Well, don't get your sleeve caught in that, Peach. If the chat has been telling me to roll up my sleeves this entire time and I've not been listening, and then I get my sleeve caught in the, the pasta maker, that's gonna end up on livestreamfails.com. I just know it. Can I take an order, sir? So roll up your sleeves. No, because um, I don't like being told what to do. Didn't know where else to store it. It's almost time, guys. Time for what? It's almost time. Time for what? It's almost time. Here we go. Serve six, my ass. That's like a portion for me. It's a big bowl of pasta. I think I've skipped a couple of steps, but I don't think it really matters. How long does the focaccia take to cook? 20 minutes, oh my God. <laughs> Can I just say that is a completely reasonable amount of time for something to <laughs> Mix together, olive oil, water, flaky salt, drizzle over the bread. Push sprigs of rosemary into the dimples. Sprigs? How do you quantify a sprig? It's like a tiny branch. Okay. Praise be the crocs. Without the crocs, I'd be finished, man. Don't look at my bin. As seen on TikTok. Viral sensation TikTok. You think we're a third in? We're basically at the, we're on the home stretch. We just need to finish proving the focaccia, make the sauce, cook the focaccia, cook the pasta. Oh God, we're a third in, aren't we? Mmm. Bit of salt. What's the optimal time to have dinner? When do you guys eat dinner? Between six, seven, seven and eight. After eight is when you eat those little chocolates. What are they called again? Fuck, those little square minty ones. Don't look at my bin. Just gonna boil the kettle. Does anyone want a cuppa? Fresh tomato puree, guys. Pop goes the puree. I trained for seven years in the finest cunnilingus, uh, uh, culinary sorry, school of chefs, of the top chefs in the country. Sugar? No, I'm sweet enough. <laughs> no, I'm, so, no, I'm sweet enough. Ah! If you just keep acting this way, no supper tonight, okay? I'm putting my crock down. <laughs> Watch it, Chrissy. Wah! Let's take a little look at your reveal. We're doing it. This is it. This is what we've got to work with. What? <laughs> you didn't do anything. Oh, what? That's what's it gonna you were going to prod me in the back of the neck. How do we make dimples? Like, how's that? Oh, ho, ho, ho. A little bit more sea salt. Just a little sprinkling. But wait, there's a catch. A four catch. I'm going to put it in the oven. No, PJ, wait. It's my kitchen. This is how we do it. What are you doing on the bin? I'm not making meatballs from scratch, but we're going to use vegetarian uh, corn meatballs. So. Swedish style balls. My ponytail got stuck in your car. This is definitely the home stretch. You guys ever played Papa's Quiz before? This pasta's fucking raw! Did you just? I was gonna die. <laughs> Don't, yeah, be careful when this is out because you never know what can happen. Starting to go to Brown Town, if you know what I mean, so. Should I get out of the way? Sure, here we go. In it goes. Oh, it's brown. Turn up the heat. Turn it up. A fresh focaccia. Oh, it's brown. Oh, 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 oh. You know how they check if pasta's done in Italy, right? 
It's not done yet. It bounced, yeah. The pasta's not supposed to bounce. It's meant to stick. All right, we've got a little pasta splash. <laughs> Slightly al dente. Very tasty, actually. Well, I would say that's pretty good for baby's first focaccia. <laughs> Look at the pasta jiggle physics. We're going to mix the pasta into the sauce. Homemade fresh pasta. Homemade sauce. Mm. Hello. Learn Italian with PJ. Gatto. It's still steaming. You can see the steam. We're basically ready to plate this up. Here we go. Who's having some? You want some of this? Hey, how's the gravy tonight? Sophie, come. you should come in and ask me how's the gravy tonight. How's the gravy tonight? It's pretty good. Sleep. Say when. I'm not going to grate my sleeve. The stove is still on. The meatballs! My mama makes spaghetti in the morning. My mama makes spaghetti in the night. But please don't forget my big meatballs. The meatballs, the meatballs, the meatballs, the meatballs. The meatballs. You guys are just here with them for a few hours. Imagine 24. Think how I feel. I have to be with this for 24. <laughs> here we go. Bon appetit. Down the hatch. Mm, that's good. Yeah. That is, is very good. Mamma mia. Mm, let's try a bit of that focaccia as well. With the sauce. <laughs> yep. That's it. Very nice. A tasty meal was enjoyed by all. I did my 12 year old self proud. That 12 year old who went into food tech with such good intentions to make fresh pasta and it didn't turn out so good then. But look how far we've come. 20 years later, we nailed it. It only took 20 years. Should I get out? You, yeah, you, 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 you get out of here. Scram! Scram! Scram, turkey. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you learned something today. I certainly did. I learned how to make pasta. See you all very soon. Goodbye. Sophie. Bye-bye. The meatballs, the meatballs, the meatballs, the meatballs.